Where's that key? You have it, right? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this is our storage unit. Ta da! Got everything saran wrapped in here. So this is. What's up, guys? So we're currently in lock in store in Tagig. It's a storage facility and uh, they have multiple locations and uh, they have fans, which is nice. So this is not an air conditioned uh, storage unit. So we're renting a 10 by five unit, which is about 10 foot in width, uh, five foot in length, uh, or you could reverse it. To me, it's kind of like the same thing, but, uh, and it looks like the ceilings are about like eight or nine feet. And we're paying about $85 per month. And uh, I'm not sure what that is in pesos, like 4,400 pesos or something like that. So today our objective is to actually uh, take some photos of Mia's old stuff. When, we, when I first met Mia, she had, uh, all of her own furnishings and uh, she was running an unfurnished place to save money and um, all the places i wanted to move into were fully furnished so because all the places i wanted to move in were fully furnished we actually put her stuff in uh, a storage unit which is why we're here today and we're going to try and like uh list her items for sale on facebook marketplace and carousel.ph and if you know any other good suggestions of ways to sell like pre-owned appliances and stuff like that that would be great for us to know about so that we can uh, have the opportunity to potentially sell those pre-owned places. Okay, we got a lamp, a guitar, a printer, and a corded drill. Interesting, interesting choice, but that's what we decided to pick up today and we're probably gonna put those to good use. So. I just wanted to let you know why we decided to go with lock and store uh, 24 7 and this is not a sponsorship this is not a promotional video uh, this is just me giving my advice why I went with that storage unit in Manila uh, I googled they had like extra extraordinarily good reviews they have like a 4.6 or 4.7 out of like a ton of reviews for a lot of their locations uh, the staff is very friendly very nice very helpful and the uh, the rates as far as the cost uh, honestly are a lot cheaper than i'm trying to compare in arizona i'm spending quite a bit of money for a 10 by 10 unit that i have in storage this one is better priced in manila but they are kind of uh lock and stores kind of on the higher prices if you want like uh an upper level kind of an upper scale storage unit if you have like expensive items you want to store lock and store is probably going to be the right fit for you there's lots of other storage places that you can check out that you can research on google and i just make decisions by the reviews but I've had nothing but positive experiences so far with Lock and Store. The uh, five by 10 unit that I found in Taguig was the best value proposition I could find. It was the biggest unit at the lowest cost for what we needed for Mia's uh, needs for her storage, I, for, for her items, because she had quite a few large items. So that unit, I believe was a five by 10 foot, five foot by 10 foot by like eight or nine foot in height. And it's good size. And uh, our unit's not climate controlled, but they do. The company itself does offer some units that are climate controlled, which means that they have some type of air conditioning uh, in the actual facility and possibly even in the units. So you would have to inquire and actually find out uh, to, to figure out if they're in the actual units as well. Yeah, I just wanted to take you in there and show you an example today of like what it's like to have a storage unit in Manila because we have one. And again, I pay about 4,400 pesos per month, which is about $85 a month for the unit. This offer that they gave me might not, they might not always do that for new customers, but they treated me extremely well. I had to put down a one month security deposit and I think I had to pay one month advance if I remember correctly when I first got the storage unit, but they also gave me one month free so the security deposit uh, kind of acted like it's money I'll get back in the future when I no longer need a unit as long as it's in the same condition. But they did give me a free month, which was super nice. And uh, I believe that's something that a lot of storage unit companies offer brand new customers. And I think the one in Arizona did that as well. I, I changed my storage unit, storage unit facility in Arizona. And now I have a 10 by 10 unit and I'm paying $170 a month, which is like uh, double what I'm paying for the unit here. And, um, yeah, and the reason why I'm storing items in Arizona or we're storing items in here is because some of those items are like expensive electronics, like Mia has a washer and a refrigerator and stuff. And we want to try to sell those items on carousel.ph or Facebook Marketplace if we can, because 
I don't think we're gonna need those. If I ever purchase the condo here in Manila, which uh, I honestly might, and if I do that, it's probably gonna be an uptown BGC because that's my favorite area, I think. Or maybe I, I, I'd also consider Bridgetown, Valeris Residences, and Park Links as well. Tough decisions, but um, yeah. So I'm, I'm planning to go back to, uh, when I go back to Arizona, uh, I'm gonna try to sell a lot of the stuff in my storage unit so I can close that storage unit, that's my intention. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking to downscale and get rid of, if I can sell Mia's stuff, if we can sell Mia's stuff and get the right amount of money for that, we can close down that storage unit and I can close down my storage unit in Arizona. That would save me like 240 to $250 a month in US, which is like, I don't know, I don't know 12,500 pesos or now it's like 15,000 pesos a month that would save me in storage fees, which, you know, again, the things that we're storing are, they have value, uh, financial value, monetary value, and emotional value. So just looking to decide if we wanted to keep those and reuse them uh, instead of just, and then also trying to sell them since they're secondhand or pre-owned. But uh, yeah, I just want to give you a little bit of insight on that topic because it's, um, I don't have too much experience renting storage units in Manila or Arizona. I've had two storage units in Arizona. They were basically, I had one and I had the first one in Arizona after I moved out of my house and sold most of my stuff. And then I switched it to a different one in a different location that was a little better maintained. And then uh, it cost more though. But uh, for here, yeah, I just picked the one that was like highly rated on Google and lock and store. Uh, 247.com is their site if you want to check them out. You can also compare them to some of the other top people who offer those services here in Manila. But yeah, hopefully this video was informative and uh, hopefully you got something out of it. You rock as always. And uh, yeah, catch you again soon. Oh,